Hey everyone, how's it going? So as you may or may not know, I worked on a small little SaaS product a while back called IconGeneratorAI.com. And I wanted to kind of share with you how much money I've made over the past month or so with this product. Overall, I made this mainly to just like learn more about Stripe and actually try to set up a single application that I can actually get payments for. And I think this was a really great learning experience for myself. For those of you who aren't familiar with this product, um, basically it's a way to go in here and you can generate any type of icon that you want, basically by just typing in a prompt here, selecting a color, a style, and a shape, and you can select how many images that you want, and that'll go ahead and like generate some icons for you. And this product is set up with Next Auth, and I think it only has like Google authentication, so you can like sign in with your Gmail account or something. And after signing in, you have the ability to buy credits, which will take you to a Stripe page. But the main purpose of this video is I kind of wanted to share with you all how much money has this product made. So before I dive into the breakdown of how much this site has made, uh, I do want to do a little plug here, a little shameless marketing plug. I have a little course hosted in Gumroad where you can basically learn how to build a very similar site where I set it up with Stripe, I set it up with NextAuth, it's using the T3 stack, it's using Tailwind, it's using uh, TRPC TypeScript. And then I have it deployed to AWS Amplify and I'm using S3 buckets to store all these images, right? Now the course doesn't build out the exact same thing I've, I've just shown you here. Like obviously I put in a lot more work into this site than I have with the, the course. But if you're just looking to get like a, a decent understanding of new technologies and just kind of get a different perspective on how you can build and deploy applications to potentially Amazon, so definitely check out the course link. I will put it in the description. There's also going to be a code that you can use to get, I think, 30% off on the course. I think it's only like 14 bucks. Yeah, let's just go ahead and get the breakdown of how much I've made with my AI um, application. Because I think sometimes you watch people online make SaaS products and you think they're making like a decent amount of money. But overall, this product, I think has only made like 200 bucks in revenue. And I want to kind of differentiate between revenue and profit. So revenue is like basically how much money came in. Profit is you take the losses or how much it costs to run this and subtract it from your revenue to get the profit. So I went ahead and deleted anything that might be sensitive in this, um, but this is my Stripe dashboard. And you can see here, I have it filtering for exactly $5, which is how much the uh, buying credits cost on this icon generator AI application. And I have 42 results that are succeeded with the $5 purchase. I think so 42 times five is about $210. That is the total revenue I've made on this little application. For some reason, Stripe doesn't give you a way to like filter by the product that you're selling or like the price that you're selling. Um, I'm finding this UI very lacking. I don't know why they don't provide you an easy way to do that. I guess I could export and like load up a CSV editor and like do it that way. But like you think that they will give you a way to know how much of a single product you're selling, but maybe they leave it up to the developers to kind of offload that into their own systems. So to get the profit, you actually have to go to the Dolly API here. Because again, I'm just wrapping the Dolly API and I am just basically hitting it with some requests. And if I were to go ahead and just try to get, is there even a way to get a breakdown of like the past couple of days? Okay, I guess I can't like do anything other than a monthly view, which again, kind of sucks in terms of UX. I wish these sites would actually allow you to do some type of range selections to see how much you've used over the months, but I kind of launched this thing back in February, it looks like. And this costs $31 in the month of February to basically support the app. So what I do is when you buy credits on my site, you give me $5 and I give you 100 credits. But as you use those credits, the Dolly API is going to charge me every time someone uses one of their credits to generate an icon. Okay, so February $31 is my, my costs. Um, in March, $20 is my operational costs. In April, we have $7.91. So I already forgot those numbers. So overall, this is how much it costs so far to allow people to use the Dolly API on my behalf in my application. So if you take the 210 and minus that, you get back $150 of profit. So overall, I mean, this is just a little side project. This thing has not been very lucrative, but I do think it is an interesting thing that people have been just kind of stumbling upon and trying out. And maybe I could potentially keep on adding features onto that and do more marketing of it. But I don't know where to take it from here. Like, I don't know if I should keep on trying to work on this because it is a potential product that I could build out or if I should just kind of move on from here. Obviously, if you uh, have followed my channel, you know I like to jump around from project to project and I might be reaching a point where I'm gonna kind of just like let this one just sit here 
and maybe I'll revisit it in the future or something. There's always more fun things that you think you can work on. All right, well, that's all I kind of want to share with you all today. If you guys enjoyed watching, be sure to give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. And uh, like always, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to join if you want to talk to me directly or just find a place to hang out with some other developers. If you're lost or stuck or just need like some questions answered, feel free to uh, ask in my Discord. All right, have a good day and happy coding.